Hey Blue Table fans, I'd love to talk to you today about uh, Blue Table Painting Flush Movement Trays which are available currently at bluetablestore.com. You can get the link in the liner notes. They are by far the best movement tray product uh, that I have ever seen. It, uh, they consist of two parts. One is an approximately eighth inch hard board with magnetic sheeting on the top, which is blackened along the edges to be uh, unobtrusive on the battlefield. And also the uh, magnetic sheeting is glued on very firmly and uh, they are cut quite precisely. Okay, so then you purchase metal plates for your guys which are glued onto the bottom. Uh, my favorite method is to put a little bit of super glue on a piece of cardboard or whatever and uh, then you just uh, dip your guys in it and carefully set them on the plates and uh, let them dry uh, overnight so you don't end up with any uh, uh, very small bits of super glue residue sticking to anything. So anyway, you put them on your trays like this. Uh, the most common size of tray is, uh, is five wide by two deep. You can use this for a lot of different games. Uh, for example, War Gods of Egyptus has a rank uh, system like this. Now, particularly for Skaven, all right, now I want to talk about Skaven. So for a big horde like this, this is 100 Skaven warriors here. And uh, for it, I have 10 trays, each holding 10 guys. Now, you might think uh, breaking them up like this uh, might not be the uh, best way to go about it. Let me see if I can just zoom in on this a little more tightly. And... Um, uh, however, this actually really works quite nicely because when you're playing on your board, you can just push them around like this. And uh, if you come up on a if you come up on a hill or something like that, uh, let's say like this here, and uh, your guys end up marching up on it. Well, guess what? You can have half of them up here like this, and they will. Uh, let's see if I can show that to you a little bit better. Uh, in fact, let me show you on the other side. Let me move this hill. There we go. Perfect. So uh, as they march, you can actually get a little bit of get a little bit of play here, where they can go partially up the hill, and it uh, it actually makes a little sense. So they're they're basically they're just they're a little bit more organic this way, and uh, there really is no problem just pushing them around. Also, as you lose guys, you can uh, take them off of the rear like this and it actually will it actually will make some sense and the other thing is when you reform you could actually reform into what's called a bus <laughs> it's not an official name but you can do a bus formation you can actually just reform into uh, long ranks like that so uh, they're really flexible they're fantastic um, now for a Skaven screaming bell let me show you how you work this let me just move this into the frame here like that dong Ask not for whom the bell tolls, it tolls for thee. All right, about profound truth for that. Okay, so typically what I would do is I would just take one of these five by twos and I would turn the guy sideways on it so they're in files, put them on either side, and voila, you are ready to roll. The bell is five guys deep, so it happens to match up very nicely. And uh, this is a really good, uh, really solid formation for your screaming bell. It's a total of seven files wide. So then what you do is you get a seven by two. And uh, what you'll note, what, <laughs> dong, um, what you'll, you'll notice that I have these rats here. And that's because the uh, profile of the screaming bell uh, does hang over the back of the uh, model a little bit. And the clan rats don't stand up very well under there. So I just have these uh, giant rat fillers to uh, make it so that they, so that it fits underneath the back. Now if I wanted to run them 10 wide, here's what I would do. I would uh, get my guys sideways like this. So same movement trays that I use in the rest of the army, but I put an additional one on this side like that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then I get a 20 millimeter five by one, and I put it on the other side. And now that, of course, is 10 awesome Skaven warriors wide. Now on the back, what I do is I just get my five wides, 
and uh, I just get them on there. And that's another good reason to, uh, to have the trays like this in multiples, uh, because you actually can hang back a little bit, and um, you know, it, uh, it becomes not so, not so crowded. And, and that, folks, is how you uh, manage your movement trays. Uh, we have movement trays suitable for 20 millimeter bases, uh, 25 millimeter bases, 40 millimeter bases, uh, 25 wide by 50 deep bases, 50 millimeter bases, um, and we have some for 50 wide and 75 deep uh, that are only certain measurements. So check out bluetablestore.com and also keep us in mind when it's time to get your army a painted and symboled. Uh, because we are the most well-known, most reliable, most secure painting service in the entire world, and that's by a long shot. So uh, we're, we're here for you. Check the liner notes for all sorts of contact information. Thank you. Bye.